Okay, this is Charlie of Team TFTC. We're down here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire today doing a little geocaching with our new iPod Touch. And uh, we don't have Wi-Fi connection. Right now we're going after a geocache, a uh, mystery geocache down here all around Portsmouth or a walk through town or something. We found all but two clues so far. When we get to the final, we'll report on our use of the geocaching app, which we're using right here. Stroll around downtown number one. All right, we'll keep you up to date. Later. Hey, Team TFTC here on an eye touch hunt. We've got the final coordinates for stroll around Portsmouth number one. And thanks to geocaching app, we were able to download the pocket query, uh, saved it as a, uh, a favorite file, and we we're able to actually download the pictures and the hint and everything else. So now we're on our way to find the final sign the log and make this cache uh, one of the quality caches first quality cache of 2010 all right team tft has found stroll around downtown number one now we, we through this application we can log the cache even though we don't have a gps we can post a field note or a log edit this message and log our cache and we, when we get into Wi-Fi range we'll upload it to geocaching.com thanks for the cache this is team TFTC Okay, we are going after the CB Creek Salt Marsh. We're here with the iPhone application from geocaching.com on my 8 gigabyte iPod Touch. Now, we don't have Wi-Fi here, and the iPod Touch doesn't have any kind of transmitter other than the Wi-Fi. So, what we're going to do is we're going to log the caches today. And when we get home to our Wi-Fi network, upload our logs so we can log a lot quicker as we find these. Okay, we've um, added. Let me think about this. <laughs> we've added a little bit of uh, entertainment. Continue and, on, my friend. Continue on. If you don't recognize that voice, yes, I put my own voice on my Garmin Nuvi. One quarter mile. Turn left. 
All right, let's go find this cache. Team TFTC's geocaching videos are sponsored by the Grand Estate Geocachers Community, a great place to find geocaching calendar of events, as well as geocaching links and geocaching downloads, as well as a great place to hang out and chat with your local geocachers from the community. Come and join the Granite State Geocachers community at www.granitestategeocachers.org. Hey everyone, Charlie and Judy here of Team TFTC. And today we're going out to Oris Falls Cache, put out by Patty E. Buxton. This will be 951 for Team TFTC. It's a gorgeous Easter Sunday. We've already picked up a couple of caches, and uh, actually Judy decided to come along on this little hike. We're using the geocaching uh, app on our iTouch, iPod Touch, and yesterday we found three caches. Was able to get down to downtown Dover, where there's free Wi-Fi. Uploaded the finds as we were doing them, which I think is really cool. And it doesn't cost me anything a month either, so I'm saving on my phone charges too. All right, Oris Falls Cache. We're going to go navigate to it, hopefully find it, and move on on this beautiful Easter Sunday. Until then, this is Charlie, and this is... Judy. Of... Team TFTC, come on. Team TFTC. There you go. All right, we found Oris Falls Cache by Patty Buxton, GC C K no, G C K E Y D. Now we're gonna log the cache. Log it as a found. Enter the message. And when we get back into Wi-Fi space, we'll upload the find. 951. We're now over that imaginary hump between 900 and 1,000. All right. This is Charlie of Team TFTC saying thanks for the cash. <laughs>